Yeah! Oh man, this guy. Hey, we only got two minutes, so we're gonna make this quick. Yeah, make it quick. Yeah, I made a lot of feminism talk. I'm gonna get to that in a sec. Uh, real quick, I'm 41, I got three kids. So I want to give you guys a little bit of advice. You sound uh, like you're 41, you have to take Absolutely, it. thank you. I don't look it though. I don't look, I got a dick the size of a 41-year-old. Jay, you're proving my point, <laughs> holy shit. So uh, I got a, just a bit of advice. I strictly date women who do, uh, who have depression, like the lady who just came up. Why, because they're, they're always down for no, shit? Because, listen, when you break up with them, they just that don't kill themselves. You don't need to worry about them anymore. So it's oh, man, trouble. your joke was somehow more offensive than mine was. Absolutely. Uh, let's get to the feminism. I've heard this all fucking night. There is no such thing. Uh, just because you have a pussy and, and you're a woman doesn't mean you're a feminist. And if you're a guy and you call yourself a feminist, just because you suck a dick doesn't make you a feminist. So you let's just, just right. you know, am I right? You think like a lady, you got a pussy, you're just a woman. So, you suck a dick and you're a gay or homosexual, you're not feminist, so... I got no problem with homosexual. You guys so. ever think, uh... You guys ever have a thought, what if Andrew Dice Clay was sold in Aldi? Here's your guy. <laughs> um, Come out, Bobby. I'm from the South Side, we, we, you know, we dress a little more uh, comfortable. You know what pisses me off is, you North Side is when it comes to the cold. We're from the South Side, are you? Huh? We're from the South 130 Side. 130 Mount Greenwood. Mount, oh, oh, you I mean, oh. Yeah, it's South South. Oh. Southernmost tip, you know, the South Side Irish. But, uh. It's not a good thing to be. <laughs> hey, it's good neighborhood. Good Just neighborhood. We take care of each other. Yeah, good neighborhood if you're white. Well, it's the last white, pure white neighborhood <laughs> in Chicago. I'm not saying that's why I lived there. You know, all my neighbors and cops and everything, they just had that big uh, protest uh, at 111th and Kedzie, right down the road from me, the Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? And about protesters, this is what I don't get. You need to just quit doing that shit, like these anti-weed protesters. Uh, look, whether you do that or not, I'm going to smoke it. I can get it. Quit wasting your time. Also, uh, the anti-Trump protesters, he's in the government. He's the president. Just fucking leave him alone. Let him do what he's got to do. But... Uh, the north side is in the cold. Now, on the south side, we look at the north side and think you guys are a little bit weaker and everything. But I gotta tell you, you're some tough son of a bitches. It's cold outside. You guys are so afraid of messing up your $60 uh, dollar hairdo and uh, that you're afraid to put on uh, like scullies and earmuffs. So what I do is I see every dude that got a red ear and I'll go up to him and I'll flick it as hard as I can and he'll start rubbing it on instinct. And I tell him that's what you're supposed to do, buddy. Keep that shit warm. I'm out of here. Yeah, Have yeah. a good night. Ah, man, I'm from the north side. Have a 